everyone? Welcome back to another Come Shopping With Me. I'm about to leave for the mall because I need to check out some of the new fragrances from Bath & Body Works. I am so excited. Before I go, let me just put on a little bit of deodorant. I did a full shaving routine today, like the whole shebang. I swear I shaved everything today. I almost cut my butthole like 10 times. We're gonna wear a little bit of Love Rush from Paris Hilton. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's literally beautiful. I'm gonna pick out a hoodie or a jacket and we're gonna be on our way. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. So this is Among the Clouds. So insanely good. You guys have no idea. I need it immediately. It's Wildberry Skies and with Vanilla Clouds. It is so good. You guys, I should have checked the sales today. Um, it's only buy three, get one free, full body care, but I'm happy it came to like smell everything. But this is a I'm literally obsessed. It smells like a vanilla cloud with like just a light amount of berry. I feel like berry fragrances could be like a hit or miss at Bath & Body Works, but this is super, super good. They also have these little shapeable soaps, which I've never tried, which I do want to get my hands on. And I don't know why I said on instead of on. Um, they also have the soap, which is really cool. Have you guys tried any of the Bath & Body Works soaps? I know I'm like behind the trend, but you know, there's always time to get on it. There's always time. And look at this. This is the packaging for the perfume. I really think I'm gonna end up buying the perfume in the next like month or so because I have to say this is stunning and I would definitely, definitely recommend for sure. Alright gang, so look what I found. Fiji Sunshine, so good. Literally so good. Fragrance notes, sun-kissed guava, fresh orange, seaside jasmine. This is literally the best ever. And look what they have. But in this packaging, they brought back. Beautiful day. So good. Let me know if they change the formula. But fire, so good. And I'm obsessed with the packaging. Obsessed. Smell this. Oh, that smells good. I love that one. I have just secured the bag. This is Coco Paradise. I want to try it. Salted coconut, something or another, can't pronounce that. Um, sugar neroli and bronze sandalwood. So, ooh, I kind of like this. It's different. I've never smelled anything like it, which you guys know I appreciate, especially being a fragrance lover. Oh my god, this is actually kind of good. I'm obsessed. Coconut Paradise or Coco Paradise? Kind of living. It's like a sexy, deeper type of coconut vibe, but there's so much more than just coconut. So I'm really liking that. This is 850. <laughs> you guys, they have Moonlight Path back. This is everything. I drop everything, I swear to God. They don't have the mist, but as soon as they do, I'm buying it immediately. Because it's grown on me so much. I swear there's something about adulting where you just start liking certain fragrances, but so good. So good, so fresh smelling, so clean. I feel like my boyfriend would hate it, but I really, really like this. To think I once didn't like it. No, scratch that. I used to like it as a kid, then I stopped liking it. Now I like it again, so. Yeah, I feel like the shower gel would probably be a vibe. They have Gingham Love. You know how I feel about Gingham Love. I don't show Gingham Love much love. This is Vanilla Mocha Martini. This one's really good. Really good. If you guys know, you know I love coffee body hair. It smells just like the OGX body wash, but better, honestly. It smells really, really good. guys they have leftover perfumes from the sale this one is so sexy so good and they're $40 for the bigger ones and $25 for the smaller 
This is actually pretty good. Uh, this is Crush. I'm not a huge fan of this one. No, this one is fabulous. Ooh. This one's good. It's a good like summery fragrance. Definitely recommend for like a summer store vibe. And then T's Glam, which I like. It's nothing crazy good. It's good. It's alright. Wicked. Wicked is so good. I almost want to buy it right now. Some scandalous. I feel like I've tried this before. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. No. And then this beautiful bottle is very sexy now. It's okay. It's floral. It's something crazy. So I tried this one, the Jasmine Rainfall. So good. I will be purchasing this when it goes on sale. And Warm Horizons, really good. Like a good spring, summer type of fragrance, super light. I really like that. And Cool Blooms. It's generic, it's okay. It's nothing crazy. You guys, this is so good. Sparkling cream, coconut and marshmallow. Really, really good. Amaretto Fizz. You're kidding. I think I might have to get this. This is blush and bubbly. We need a petition to bring back Sheer Love um, from like years ago. That was fire. No. Okay. I'm gonna smell these new limited edition fragrances. This is Palm Blanche. I don't know. I like this. It's good. Merlot Pear. No. Immediate. Oops. Horrid. I'm not even gonna smell the Ruby Rose because I already know I don't like it. I was right. Star Smoked Amber is absolutely horrible. Okay, so up to the best one is the Armoretto one. Really, really good. This one, the Jasmine Rainfall, so good. You guys know this one is my favorite fragrance ever. Very Sexy Oasis, so good. Very Sexy Orchid. Super sexy. Over here is Very Sexy Candy Noir. Love the packaging. Super cute. Really good. It almost smells like something from my childhood that I cannot pinpoint right now. I secured the bag. I found the Charlotte Tilbury Love Trap um, little lip liner. So I'm super excited to try this. All right, you guys, we are back in the car. I went to Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret and Sephora and Garage. And um, at Bath & Body Works, I really liked the Coco Paradise, the new fragrance. Love that. So good. Amazing. Um, we'll be picking that up, but the sale, like, sucked horribly. So, yeah. Um, anyways, it was, like, buy three, get one free. So, I was like, you know what? We'll wait, especially, like, when I have my returns. I did go into Victoria's Secret and they had a lot of leftover stuff from the sale, which was great. And I smelled a few of the new fragrances, the Jasmine Fall or something. Um, it's like Rainfall, Jasmine Rainfall. It was so good. So I will be getting that. We were kind of in a rush, so I had to leave. Um, but I will definitely be getting that soon. And I smell that was on sale as well, the Armoretto Cream. I think that's what it was Amaretto. called. Amaretto. Amaretto. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was like the cocktail I didn't know I needed. It was so good. So from Garage, I ended up getting this shirt. So it's like a basic white top, but it's like a V neckline. So I think I'm gonna wear that on Valentine's Day. I bought an outfit on Amazon actually because Opali took literally 10 years to get in. Um, I ordered it and now it tells me that it won't be coming to me until the 13th, which is after me celebrating Valentine's Day because I'm celebrating it in two days. I'm celebrating it on Saturday. So that was. Well, that was smart because then you got a reservation. They're not going to charge you extra money. 
Yeah, probably you're right. Um, I ended up getting the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So stay tuned for a get ready with me of new makeup. Go follow my TikTok. You'll be seeing me trying that on on there. But yeah, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm literally walking in my front door, putting on pasta water because I'm hungry as heck and getting right to editing. So this video can go up today. This is how crazy I am. So it's 2.30 now. It, we are hoping it's up doing? before five o'clock. Me and my mom's road rage. Um, but yeah. Whoa. There are so many blessings on the way and so many blessings right in front of you. You just haven't looked hard enough yet. I love you, I love you, I love you. Stay tuned for my next video. Love you guys so much.